Throughout the course of evolution, different species evolve different brain sizes. It is commonly thought that the bigger the brain, the smarter the species or even the individual. But is it really true? The biggest known brain weighs 10 kilograms and it belongs to sperm whales. Nonetheless, humans are the most intelligent and dominant species on Earth despite their smaller brain size. So does brain size really matter when it comes to intelligence? Human brains range between 1.2 to 1.4 kilograms in weight. They reach their peak size when we are in our 20s or 30s and start slowly shrinking afterwards. Brain sizes also vary from person to person to the extent that your brain might be twice as large as that of your friend. Men's brain on average weigh 1.3 kilograms and are bigger than women's brains that weigh an average of 1.2 kilograms. These differences between brain sizes are largely caused by our genetics and are not directly linked to higher intelligence. Anatomical analyses of brains of famous scientists and writers didn't show any relation between size and intelligence. For example, the brain size of the famous Russian writer Ivan Turgenev exceeded 2 kilograms, while Einstein's brain size was 1.2 kilograms. Our close cousins, the Neanderthals, had bigger brains than Homo sapiens, yet we managed to outcompete them and survive while they went extinct. Does this mean that size doesn't matter after all? There is a more likely candidate that can link brain physiology to intelligence, and that is brain connectivity. In other words, it is how neurons communicate with each other and form connection hubs called synapses. People with better brain connectivity exceed others at problem-solving skills. It is the way your neurons are wired that determines your intelligence, not the size of your brain. Supporting this hypothesis is the fact that our brains don't physically grow as we learn new skills in life. Instead, more connections are formed while others are reorganized. The structures and functionality of these synapses can also influence how clever someone is. Some people have exceptional intelligence thanks to how well-developed their brains are. For example, the creator of the periodic table, Dmitry Mendeleev, had highly developed frontal and parietal lobes on the left side. If brain size doesn't determine intelligence, then why do people have varying brain sizes? It turned out that our brain size might be controlled by our genes. One of these genes is called HMGA2, which is believed to be present in almost half of the world's population. Another gene that affects our brain size is called ARHGAP11B. When scientists introduced this gene into monkeys, the monkey's brains grew bigger in size. It is hard to tell, however, whether these monkeys developed higher intelligence or not. It is possible that this gene is switched on in some people, and that's why their brains are bigger. So, how did we attain this level of intelligence? Scientists recently identified 1,000 genes that have been linked to intelligence, some of which are new to science. Besides these genes, our intelligence comes from our neuron connectivity and density, which are influenced by our experiences in life and adaptation to different conditions. The social and ecological challenges that our ancestors experienced throughout history and the way they dealt with them added up to our intelligence and may have even affected our brain size to a certain degree. Understanding where the source of intelligence lies is a challenging task. First of all, it's not possible to define intelligence, let alone measure it. Most studies compare IQs when there is so much more to being smart, like talent, creativity, social intelligence, abstract thinking, and erudition. Although whether brain size matters is still a debated question, we're slowly getting closer to a more logical evidence-based answer.